Okay, so we're making good progress with our ePortfolio for phony accessories, our store policy and procedures manual. I've completed my collage or montage using a Web2 tool like uh, Picture Collage, and I've written my company mission and vision statement here. So now we're at the point whereby we can complete a organizational structure, an organization chart, or a chain of command. One of the tools that I'd be suggesting for this is a, uh, a web app that's available through the Chrome Web Store, which I'll just navigate to now, called LucidChart. Now you can see it's sitting in my Chrome Web Store there. Just to show you it's front and center as we navigate to uh, for Sid.Catholic. So you can see that we've got some suggested Google apps that we've been uh, testing and playing around with and have had good success with. So what, provided that's selected, you will see LucidChart um, displayed there. It's just a matter of uh, adding that to Chrome. So once you've added that to Chrome, then you will see that pop up in your App Store. And I'm just going to go into LucidChart now. Now there is an education uh, version. The uh, free version does exactly the same thing. All right, so you'll see here that uh, there are a number of templates and I'm just going to uh, zoom in here because this is of particular interest. We have our organizational chart. So to create that chart, it's just simply a matter of clicking on that and create. So here I can um, make some sort of selection. So I can uh, have a, just a blank organizational chart, role, phone number, email. I can even include a role and photo uh, within the organizational chart uh, and a vertical structure. So. Um, Phony Accessories is a fairly flat management structure, so I'm going to go with the role and photo one here. So I'm going here with uh, Phony Accessories uh, organizational chart. And I'll hit OK. Alright, so uh, Tim Cook is not the uh, CEO of Phony. Uh, accessories. So here um, I can upload images that uh, I've put on my desktop. So you can see there I've got a image of myself. So I'm just going to whack that in. There we go. So um, what we can do here is it pops out a little uh, layout option. So Literally, it's as easy as just adding these things here. So, uh, in terms of roles, uh, we're going to have a merchandising manager, and the merchandising manager is going to be Carol because she's really good at merchandising. Our uh, importer is going to be Kathy because she's really good at shopping and in terms of uh, store design uh, that's going to be Shane okay so we need uh, we need some uh, policy placement here so I'm going to have uh, Christine so, uh, Christine and finally uh, in terms of uh, overseeing our retail stuff we have Mary Claire So we can go in and add their photos in simply just by clicking on those photos and I'm just going to add in a few photos here. So we've got uh, Kathy, a lovely photo of Kathy. We've got uh, K 
Tarot. So you can see I've got my uh, phony accessories team here and it's just a matter now of uh, selecting each one of those. So we'll go in, select each one. There we go, there's Carol. And go across, there's Kathy. Lovely photo, she's our importer. Go to Shane. A lovely photo in there we go. Got Christine. And finally we have Mary Claire. Okay. So nice little tool, um, Lucid Chart. Uh, there's loads of other um, applications and you'll see later on within the task there is scope for a flow chart that could be done within uh, lucid chart as well so uh, I'm just going to switch that uh, mode off now and you can do things like uh, I could bring that down and if I wanted to I could scroll down and again I could add a image so it'd be nice to add our logo up the top here and what I'm going to do is just uh, make sure that, that uh, that's not clicked at all. So I'm just going to go down and add this image. There we go. And I think that uh, that'll just about do us. So. Um, Essentially what's happening here is that uh, it's saving in the cloud. Uh, there are normal features associated with this like there is a um, Google Doc. So essentially I could be collaborating on this Lucid chart, organizational chart. Um, but for this purpose I'm just going to uh, export to my Google Drive. Okay, So I hit export and I'm going to send it as a PNG file with a transparent background, hit export to Google Drive and in a moment I'll show you where that has placed that particular item in my Google Drive. Okay, so if I just go into my drive and see Fanny Accessories organizational chart, you can see there it is. Um, really happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going back to my site. I'm going to edit my site page. And I'm going to scroll down, insert my uh, cursor at the point whereby my chart belongs. And now I'm going to insert an image and Again, we might just need to, there we go. Let's change it to last modified. So there's our organizational chart. Select that and that should place our organizational chart. Now, it's coming fairly large. It's a large file size. So if we play around with that, um, that seems to do the trick there. Uh, you can actually reduce it again. So. Um, Probably the 100% the is the most effective there. So there's my organizational chart um, embedded in my Google site. Hit save and on to the next task.